the NCAA tournament is here. The bracket is out. We've put together our own bracket that only you, Ice Cube, can fill out mm -hmm. with any type of authority. Mm -hmm. We have the top eight best-selling hip-hop albums of all time. Oh, wow. All time. Mm -hmm. So those are our one through eight seeds. We're fast-forwarding straight to the Elite Eight. Okay. We're going to show them to you. We're going to have you pick who survives and who advances until we ultimately get a winner. So obviously, we didn't want to be subjective, so we took the best eight selling album. Okay. You can oh. be subjective. So let's start out our one eight seed. Mm -hmm. It's Speaker Box. The Love Below, so a little outcast is the number one selling album of all time against the eighth seed, 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying. Who advances? Wow. That's um, a tough one. Yeah, I love both of those albums. But, you know, I, I gotta give it to 50. You know, is, is that, that- It upset. Yeah, that, that uh, Get Rich, Die Trying album is nah, magnificent. Okay, I love it. We're starting off on a good note here. One eight upset. Let's go to the two seven. The second best-selling hip-hop album of all time is the Marshall Mathers LP, Eminem, against a seven seed, Country Grammar, Nelly. Oh, wow. I guess I'm gonna have to get an edge to Eminem, even though I love that Country Grammar album. You know, Eminem is just uh, one of the greatest MCs of all time. So, you know, I'm gonna have to give him the nod. Okay, half of our final four is set. Let's keep going. The three seed, Life After Death. Just mm -hmm. in town, seeing the Biggie tribute against number six, License to Ill. Oh, wow. Um, you know, Biggie Smalls is the illest. <laughs> so, damn, I got to give it to Biggie. Okay. I got to give it to Biggie. Uh, you know, even though, you know, the Beastie Boys, you know, they changed rap with that album. They made it a, 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 a global phenomenon. So... But I, I still got to give it to Biggie. Okay, the life after death wins out, survives and advances. Now the four, five seed, four seed. Please hammer, don't hurt him. Fourth best-selling hip-hop album of all time against the fifth seed, All Eyes on Me. Oh, come on now. <laughs> we did this. I love one. Hammer. That's my man. You know, uh, we hung out earlier in his career out in Oakland. Man, I saw him walk in a party one time. It was like John Travolta walked in. Saturday Night Fever. Uh, so. But, but I got to give it to, to uh, all eyes on me. I got to give it to my man. Okay, so let's get down our final four here. We have Eminem, Marshall Mathers LP against Life After Death. Um, give me Life After Death. Okay, Biggie makes it to the finals. And then Get Rich or Die trying as the eighth seed against All Eyes on Me. Give me all eyes on me. Okay, so wow. It's Biggie and Tupac in the final. Who yeah. wins? <laughs> oh, Lord. Can we have a tie? <laughs> no, we can't, sir. <laughs> Can we have a tie? Oh, give, give it to all eyes on me. All right, and there you go. The champion of the best hip hop, uh, best selling albums in hip hop history. Ice Cube says, All eyes on me is declared the victor. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, all eyes on me. Thank you for doing that. No problem.